Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to turn this picture into this. I like to call this effect a pixelated effect. And I'll be using CS5 to get the job done in this video, but you could pretty much use any version of Photoshop that you want. So with that being said, let's head over to this image. And I want you guys to keep in mind that I already cut this out from its background and I already set the background colors to white and I already uh, set an empty space on the left for the pixels to go. So you want to do that all beforehand before watching this tutorial. But once you have that done, let's get started with the brush tool. So let's click on the brush tool and we want to have this brush set open. So to do that, let's click on this little arrow and click on drop shadow brushes and just press OK. And this brush set should open up. Now you could choose any size brush that you want, but I'll be choosing the biggest one because this is a fairly large image. And then let's go to window and click on brush. So we want to mess with the brush settings a little bit. We want to click on scattering and have the scattering all the way up to a thousand percent, a count of one and a count jitter of a hundred percent. And we also want to add a texture. So let's click on texture. And to get this texture, just click on this little arrow and click on artist surfaces and press OK. And you should get this texture set. Now you could choose any texture that you want. You could experiment and see what looks best. But in this tutorial, I'll be using the last texture. We want a scale of about 50%. Uh, you want to have texture each tip selected. You want to have a mode of subtract and a depth of about 50% too. And we're done with that. So let's just put this away. Now we want to make sure we have a black color selected. And we want to add a layer mask to this layer. So just click right here at the bottom to add a layer mask. Now simply all you have to do is start from the top, click and drag your way to the bottom. And as you can see, uh, it randomly just pretty much cuts out little bits and pieces of this image. Now we could change the, um, the width, make it a little bigger and add a uh, little random big uh, spots in this image. Now you want to just pretty much make it as random as you can and just go around and add different spots to take out of this image. So take your time and do that and see what you could come up with. You want to make it look very random and just have a big rush of pixels out of the image. Let's get some on my face and a little more small ones. And that looks pretty good. So now we're done with that. Now what we want to do is uh, right click on that layer, the layer uh, with the image of the person or the object and we want to click on duplicate layer and then just press OK. Now this is going to make two copies of that layer. So after that you want to just delete this layer mask. So right click on it and click delete layer mask and then you should just have the, um, the original image again. And don't worry if you hide that, the um, image that we just made is behind that. But we want that to be open and let's make a new layer. Let's click command shift N if you're on a Mac or control shift N if you're on Windows to make a new layer. Press OK to that. And now what we want to do is select the clone tool. Now with the clone tool selected, let's open up that brush set again. Uh, choose the same brush that you chose last time and let's ho head over to uh, the brushes window. And what we want to do is just add some scattering. Let's add the scattering all the way up to a thousand percent. A count of one and a count jitter of zero percent this time. And this time we're not going to add a texture. And just like that. Now we're going to be making all the little pixels on this new blank layer. So what we want to do is make sure that the aligned sample is uh, current and below. So have aligned checked and have the sample be current and below. If you set it to the current layer, you're not going to have anything to clone because there's nothing on that layer. So we want current and below so we could clone from this image right here. Now what you want to do is uh, hold down control or actually um, alt or op and just click up here once and then just uh, just hover out up here. Now right next to that. So now you'll see that the color of it's changed. And if you go down, the color of it matches uh, where you are in the image. So right here, the color is blue. If we go up, you see the color of my face. So now what we want to do is click and drag again and make random little uh, pixels like that. So just like that. Now every once in a while, you could uh, just hide this layer and look at the progress. So now it should look something like that. Now let's uh, put that layer back. Let's change um, the, uh, the size of this brush and let's make some large ones. Now you will have some errors. Uh, it's not going to look perfect, obviously, uh, but we will fix that later on. Okay, 
and I'm almost done here. And there you go, that looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is hide this to see what um, our progress is right now. And now, as I said, it's not gonna per be perfect. You're gonna have some messed up pixels, um, some half squares. So to get rid of those, just select the eraser tool and just erase the ones that you don't want, the ones that look messed up and not perfect. Now I'm not gonna go in this tutorial and one by one do that, but you're obviously gonna wanna do that uh, for, your, um, for your final image. And that's good enough for this tutorial. So now the last thing we're gonna do for this image is we're gonna use this uh, layer that we have right here of the original image. We're gonna have that layer selected. We're gonna go to filter, blur, motion blur, and we're gonna give it a motion blur of a distance of about 75 pixels and an angle of zero. Press okay. And then we're gonna change the blend mode to soft light. And there you go, just like that we are done. So this is what we came up with and this is the image that I showed you guys in the beginning. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something new today. This is octotuts.com and until next time, I will see you guys later.